We will now look at how to configure the meters within a session. Configuring the meters is done by going to Setup, Preferences, and selecting the Meter tab. Starting at the Track Master Meter Type section, here we can link the tracks and master track together so that they will show the same meter type or set the meter independently of the master track. We can assign what meters will be applied to the tracks or to the master track by using these drop downs for each. In the peak clip section is where we calibrate the peak values of the meter as represented by the two yellow lines at the top of the meter. Setting it to three seconds is the time it will hold the peak meters at their detected peak level before falling away. Infinite will hold the peak meters at their absolute peak value indefinitely and will not fall away. None removes all peak meters entirely and no peak meters will be visible in the meter. These same parameters can be assigned to the clip meters and will function in the exact same way. The advanced meter settings let us adjust how each meter type reacts to the signal and how each is displayed or better known as metering ballistics. Here we select what meter type parameters we want to adjust. Each meter type has a different set of values for each parameter, and all can be customized. Decay sets how fast the meters fall measured in decibels after the peak level has been detected. Zero dBFS calibrates the reference level, again measured in dB, compared to digital zero. Essentially, it allows you to set where clipping is going to occur in the hardware converters of your audio interface. Integration time measures how quickly a peak signal is detected. This option is available only in Pro Tools HD. Color Break High sets the high point measured in dB of where the color changes for the metering will take effect. When this level is exceeded, clipping will occur. Color break low sets the low point measured in dB of where the color change will occur. This color change shows the low range of the decibel scale. Levels that fall between the color break high and the color break low should be considered to be in the sweet spot. Here I am using the Venue RMS meter. It is currently set up to the default color break values. The color break high is set to zero, which means the color change will start at zero up to plus 20 dB. The color break low change is at minus 20, so from minus 60 dB to minus 20 is the color break low. I will change the color break high to start at minus 10 and the color break low to be at minus 15 dB. Now you can see the ranges of the color bars have changed based on my settings and I have reduced what would be considered as my sweet spot. The reset button sets all the parameters back to factory default. And lastly, display allows us to show or hide the send assignment level meters. Be sure to check out the next video where we will look at the output meters.